Welcome to Fox TV News, where everything is true. When I spoke about vaccination, I was very clear in using the term mandatory. Now, I have still yet not worked out in my mind how you can force somebody, an adult, to take a vaccine. Uh, we have on our books, our laws allow for a child who is under the legal guardianship of a parent, and I believe the age is up to 12 years old, CMO, if I don't, if my, my recollection of it, to take the compulsory vaccination. Younger, right. So, you know, you can hold the baby in, in, in the, the, normally the mothers would, would hold them and the doctor does do a quick thing. I don't see you can do that to, a, to an adult. So I'm not certain about this business of mandatory. Of course, the law can mandate. Um, we have not explored whether or not that would be constitutional in our arrangement. I'm certain that the legal debate, Jovan, could come up with both sides of the argument within our constitution and a court would decide. And I'm, I, I've read the editorial. I, I can very well see that there are solid arguments on the side of mandatory vaccination. And there are also some solid arguments against. The issue for the government is, is it worth the distraction at this time? Um, and do we tie up our resources? Because remember now, Jovan, between everything that we have to do to then, you know, plunge the Attorney General's office to be distracted from the other things to go into that debate is something that I have to make a calculation on and the efficient use of our resources. So we have decided at this point, Jovan, to focus on the public education and the public engagement and to get stakeholders like your newspaper and others to put out those encouraging and positive messages and to bring the Jamaican public along. And I, I am investing some hope and faith in that, that that will work. However, Jovan, you will note as well that something is not mandatory if there are alternatives. So the government's policy will be arranged in such a way to encourage persons to take the vaccines and you have an alternative if you don't. So if you want to come to school, and the science is clear on that, that if you're vaccinated, the, the spread is less likely, the teacher is safer, the student is safer, the household that you're going back home to might be safer. So vaccinated students should be able to come to face to face. But if you are not vaccinated, the same argument applies. It's the unvaccinated who are in the hospital seeking health care. It is the unvaccinated population that is the receptive host for the, you know, the virus to mutate uh, and survive. And so that's the reality. So we are not depriving any Jamaican of education, but there is a modality that if you are safe, then this is the modality you can access. If you are not, then access the other modality. And I think that is quite fair within the context of the public health threat that we face. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, and click the notification bell for daily updates.